Hey yo what's up guys, it's Austin here and welcome back to a new video. For those who have multiple accounts, I bet you had the experience of forgetting the correct username or password combination. And it gets pretty frustrating when you have to try all the possible inputs and hopefully get the right one by chance. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a login tool that solves such issue. Specifically, I'm going to use League of Legends as an example because the login client does not have the option to choose or save multiple accounts. Unlike my previous videos, I'm going to rock through how I made this script because theoretically, it can be used in any game. If you want to see the results, feel free to fast forward to the timestamp shown on screen. The download link and the source code on my GitHub repository is provided down below. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. So I decided to write this script in VBS or Virtual Basic script because it's very lightweight comparing to say, Python. Since it's written in VBS, I believe it can be only run on Windows. But if there are any Mac users that really wants to use this, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below, and I'll consider making a Mac version. Okay, so let's create a new file with the .vbs extension, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm opening it in VS Code for syntax highlighting and the ability to run it, but you can actually edit it even on Notepad by right-clicking it and hit Edit. For those who are using VS Code, please install Code Runner and the VBS extension. Before actually coding anything, here is what the program will actually do. First, it checks if the login client is running or not. It then allows the user to input which account to log in. It opens the client and then types in your username and password combination and automatically logs you in. Okay, now we know what the script does, let's start programming. Let's create some variables that we will be using later on. You can name it whatever you want. In my example, we can assign the script variable to a wscript shell object, aka the Windows scripting host automation object. We then assign another variable to win management to use the WMI or Windows management instrumentation namespace. Then let's create a for loop that goes through every process which can be found in task manager. We look for a specific task, in this case, it will be riotclientservices.exe, but it will be different if you're doing it for another game. If that happens, an error message is thrown through a message box and then quit the program. Now the next step is to take in user input. I used the account variable that we did previously to create an input box that takes in user input. The string in the input box can be anything you want. If you don't know what to change, just change these things to whatever you want. The next step would be to make a few if-else statements to check if the user input matches these values. After that, let's now make the functions that actually opens the client and logs you in. We call the function name and then set a variable to execute the client. By default, it should be in this directory, but if you installed leak elsewhere, then you would have to change it to wherever your leak client is located. We then make a do while loop to wait until the client is opened. Then call app activate to make the client appear on the top. We then wait 5 seconds until we start sending keystrokes. If your PC loads the client faster, you can lower the milliseconds down to 1000, which is 1 second, or even take out that line of code. However, you may encounter bugs, which I will talk about it later. After that, call the send keys function and type in your username and password. All of these data is stored locally on your computer, so no one, even Riot, will see it. Do the same thing for all of your other accounts. For those who are downloading the code from my GitHub, click on the link in the video description down below. It should lead to the GitHub repo, and then just simply hit the download button. After downloading, unzip the VBS file and right-click on it to edit and then edit these values and functions. If you have issues changing them, please refer back to this timestamp. After that, save the file, close it, and double-click to run. So obviously, this script isn't perfect and there are some bugs in the program. If you know how to fix those, please comment it down below or send an issue through my GitHub repo. So whenever you log in, the leak icon appears especially during your first launch whenever your PC wakes up from sleep or just booting up. That process 
is the same thing as the actual login page of the client. So remember when we were checking if the client is running or not? Yeah, it can't really tell the difference between the logo and the actual login page because they have the same process name, which causes the program to attempt to type in your username and password when the League of Legends logo appears, which is before the actual login page. This same issue also applies during updates, where the updater process seems to have the same name as the actual client process. Because of that issue, keep in mind that this program is essentially a keystroke sender or something like a macro on Razer Synapse if you guys use a Razer device. Therefore, please do not move or switch to other tasks when using the code or else you might accidentally send your username and password on Discord or something. You might be wondering, wait, can't you just store the username and password data onto a file and then run it? Well, I cannot speak for the other games out there, but for League of Legends specifically, it stores the username and password in the cloud or their servers, so I cannot set parameters or files like if you were to store your name and password when you say SSH through PuTTY, which is why I designed my code based on the keystroke approach. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys found it informative, and as always, Feel free to comment in the comment section down below if you guys have any questions. Consider giving this video a like if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.